I, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are still sleepy. Let's perk up, wake up. We got a long gospel to read today. It's Tuesday, February 6th. They are very long gospel. Anyway, we will read part of it. It's February 6, 2018, and today's gospel comes from St. Mark. We're still reading from St. Mark, chapter 7, verses 1 to 13. Okay. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed. The purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. How well you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold your tradition. These are very, very strong words that Jesus, uh, you know, um, uses. You hypocrites. Hey, you know what hypocrites are? Liars. Basically, liars. People who do not live up to the truth about themselves and the truth about what they do. They are pretentious people. They pretend. They pretend to be goody-goody. They pretend to be following rules. They pretend to be faithful to God, like in this case. Like the scribes and the Pharisees, right? They pretend that they are doing the will of God and they are faithful to the commandments of God. But really, deep inside of them, Deep inside of them, their hearts are far from me, as Jesus said. Right? Their hearts are far from me. So these scribes and the Pharisees, they go through the fulfillment of the external. Oh, God bless you. They, they fulfill the external trimmings of, um, of, um, of what God has commanded them to do. So externally, they appear good. Right? Externally, in order to appear good to people, they, they put up all sorts of pretensions. But there's no sincerity in what they do. Okay? They do those things only for show. So they pray. Yeah, they pray. They, they do sacrifices. They, um, they follow the different traditions of, of the Jewish um, uh, culture, but they do all of that only for show, only so that people will think, oh, look at how good those folks are. Okay? But really, deep down inside, they are far from God. So it begs the question, what are they doing that for then? Right? So people who are hypocrites, and there are plenty, Plenty around us. Sometimes we can fall into that too. Right? What do we pretend to be good for? Who are we fooling? <laughs> As many times you would, you would hear me ask you. Who are you fooling when you lie? 
when you lie to yourself and when you pretend to be good and you pretend to be following, obeying, who are you fooling? Your pretensions, your pretensions are very obvious when you are just pretending. See? A, a, a hypocrite, a pretentious person, somebody who is not abiding by the truth, is obvious that he is not faithful. It is obvious that he is lying. It is obvious that his life is a big lie. Eh? You cannot hide your lies. You may manage to fool people once in a while, but in the end, a pretentious hypocrite cannot last. And sooner or later, these kinds of people, they break down. They break down and they become miserable. And in their misery, they get so depressed and discouraged. Okay? Oh yeah, and many things can happen. They get so deep in their depression because they're so sad. They get so deep in their depression and they can even kill themselves. Joseph, that's right. Okay? So you would... You would uh, tend to uh, tend to ask, how come uh, depression abounds in our environments nowadays, right? How come there's so many people who are depressed? How come there's no joy in the lives of people? Okay? How come there are plenty of people who are sad? You know why? Because there are plenty of people who are liars. There are plenty of people who are hypocrites. There are plenty of people who are going about their days just pretending to be good. So they're lying both to themselves and to others. And that, that can cause sadness because there's no sincerity in their lives. There is no truthfulness in their lives. A life that is lived in hypocrisy is a very sad and very lonely kind of life. Okay? So let us not live uh, those kinds of lives. Let us let us be very very careful about uh, about this very uh, very uh, 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 bad tendency to be liars to ourselves and to others, to be hypocrites. Um, we can be honoring God with our lips. Right? We can be mouthing plenty of prayers. Oh, we can go to Mass often, every day, in fact. But if deep down inside us, we don't really mean what we do, we don't really mean what we say, and we do not try to put into practice the things that we learn, and we are only concerned about our appearances and how good we appear towards other people and how people regard us and how people think about us, well, that's not going to last. We will be very sad doing that. We will never be happy because that is hypocrisy. True happiness and true joy can only be found in a pure heart, in a pure mind, in a sincere heart. Okay? A truthful heart. That is what brings happiness. Hypocrites are never happy. There's no happiness and hypocrisy. So, uh, it's important for us to uh, be true to ourselves, right? That's one angle of this hypocrisy. But there's another point which Jesus raises here, which is also important. Okay? Um, and that's the second point of this commentary. The Jews were so particular and so meticulous about following their tradition, meaning following certain rules, certain laws, that are basically human laws. And they disregard divine law. See? They put aside divine law and they do not care for it. They care more about the human stuff that they, that they are accustomed to doing. Like uh, little things like washing hands and things like that. Purifying the external things. Okay? The cups, the, the dishes that they use. They have to be squeaky clean before they use them. Okay? All of those things are external. See, they are concerned about the externals rather than the purity of their own hearts, the cleanliness of their own hearts, the sincerity of their own hearts in abiding by uh, the will of God. Okay? So, but you know, 
in our own modern day culture, okay, there are many of these kinds of things that we, that we do. We disregard the law of God in order to favor our own conveniences. Okay? Oh, God bless you. We disregard what God has, te has taught us in order to follow uh, our own likes, our own whims, our own convenience to suit ourselves. And we have, a, you know, we can give a few examples of this. Look at the curse of contraception. Look at the curse of abortion. Very recently, okay, there was a bill in our, in our own Congress here in the United States, right? Which could have stopped, which could have stopped abortion uh, on the 20th week of, um, of uh, the baby being in the womb. But some 14 or so Catholic legislators in Congress voted against that bill. Why? <laughs> we can only speculate, right? But that is a very clear case of infidelity, of suiting convenience, suiting our own uh, uh, um, human laws, and disregarding divine law, which protects life. Okay? Abortion, contraception are against divine law. But here we are in our own, uh, in our own legislature, okay? We have people who are calling themselves Catholic publicly who have no regard for divine law and in fact voted down a bill which could have inched our way towards stopping abortion completely in this country. And these are... Huh? Yeah, the, um, the, 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 the uh, abortion still continues. Okay? Even up to the 20th week of, uh, of gestation. See? Um, there could have been a, a, a step forward in fighting against abortion if those Catholic legislators only voted uh, with the law of God in mind rather than uh, their politics or, or any other um, uh, reason that does not merit uh, consideration. So, um, the supremacy of divine law over human positive law is a, a paramount uh, concern for, for any Catholic. Okay? We cannot, we cannot um, usurp divine law with our own traditions, our own uh, 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 human laws okay? that go contrary to divine law. Divine law is uh, supreme over and above um, human laws. And we have to keep that in mind all the time. Okay? And that's part of, of the hypocrisy that, uh, that Jesus is speaking about here in this gospel. Okay? If we are really true to our being Catholic, if we are really sincere in following our faith, in living up to our faith, that, that faithfulness will carry over into anything we do. Okay? Not only in our prayers, not only in going to Mass, but in everything we do, even the things that affect our secular life, such as, such as laws, such as these legislators. If they were only faithful and true to their Catholic faith, they would have voted against abortion. They would have voted to stop abortion uh, or that bill which attempted to stop abortion at the 20, 20th week of gestation. But there is where the, the disconnect happens many times. The plenty of us, plenty of us Catholics, were Catholic at church. <laughs> but when we get home, we forget about our Catholicity. When we get to work, we compromise our faith. See? And that's what's bad. That's what hypocrisy is all about. True Catholics... Okay? True Catholics, those who are really faithful with their Catholic faith, are Catholic all the way around and everywhere and in any environment. See? We cannot be Catholics for convenience. We cannot be cafeteria Catholics, as they call it. See? Cafeteria Catholics, they just pick and choose what suits them, what, what's convenient for them to follow. We cannot be like that, and we cannot do that. 
we have to be faithful through and through. Okay? If not, we're being hypocrites. If not, we are not being true and faithful to our calling as Catholics. And that is something that we have to really, really examine ourselves, folks. Because sometimes we it may not be in the big things where we fail, but in the very little things of everyday life, of everyday professional practice. The little, little cheating here, or little uh, accommodation there, or the little, sometimes not little, but big thing of voting against a bill that could have uh, uh, cut abortion uh, considerably, for example. That's, that's a very big example of how Catholics uh, could have done something in order to um, uh, um, show their Catholicity in public life. But these legislators not only failed God, but failed themselves and failed the Catholic faith. So let us, let us be very careful about the tendency of hypocrisy. And, well, let's pray. Let's pray for these legislators for one thing. <laughs> and uh, the other thing is uh, uh, to be very sincere with ourselves, to be truthful to ourselves. And you see, hypocrisy does not happen all of a sudden. It happens in the little lies, the little lies that we uh, let pass every day, every day. If we are not sincere with even the smallest things that relate to our faith and to truth in general, then these little things pile up, they pile up, and they can destroy and eat up the core of our faith little by little, little by little, until, well, one day you just realize you have been a big hypocrite. So be faithful in the little things. Be truthful in the little things. Be sincere in the little things. And that is it for us, folks, this morning. We are off to Mass. It's 7.20 in the morning here in Modesto, California. Hi, Father Benny. Good night to you in Italy. <laughs> and uh, David is also watching. Hello. David Kennedy. Okay, bye-bye, folks. Have a good day, everybody.